history of the film of the wrong people goes back a long way, nearly 50 years. I'm David McGillivray and uh, together with Peter Benedict I wrote the screenplay of the film of Robin Maugham's novel and we're hoping to shoot the film later this year. I first came across Robin Maugham's The Wrong People back in 1971. I was writing House of Whipcord for Pete Walker and Pete Walker's friend Sal Minio was in London trying to make his first film as a director. Sal was a Hollywood star. He was the boy who idolised James Dean in Rebel Without a Cause and that got him an Oscar nomination. He got another Oscar nomination for Exodus in 1961. But by 1971 the parts had dried up. He'd been reduced to playing an ape in a Planet of the Apes sequel. The trouble was that Hollywood still saw him as a juvenile delinquent but there just weren't enough roles for him by 1971. It didn't matter an enormous amount because he got it into his head that he wanted to be a director and he'd had a reasonable amount of success. He directed a new play called Fortune and Men's Eyes with an unknown Don Johnson in New York and on the West Coast. But his real desire was to become a film director. He wanted to make a film of Giovanni's room, but he couldn't get the rights. And that's when he read Robin Maugham's The Wrong People. It was perfect for him because it was edgy. That's what he wanted. And this was a book about desire and intrigue in Tangier in the 1960s. He fetched up in London for various reasons. He was trying to raise money here. He wanted Pete Walker to produce the film. Uh, Pete said no. And I remember him telling me at the time, they'll never make a film of this book. And when I read the paperback, which came out in 1972, I have to say I agreed with Pete. The subject matter was just too controversial. The time wasn't right to make a film of this book. And that's what Sal discovered when he and his partner Courtney Burr and Murray Smith, who eventually wrote the screenplay, went to Tangier to look for locations. Shortly after they came back, the Moroccan authorities decided that they didn't want Sal to make this film in their country. Sadly, after failing to make the film in Israel as well, he'd been there for Exodus, Sal went back to Hollywood and he was directing another play on the West Coast, P.S. Jog. Cat is dead when he was tragically murdered. I never thought another thing about the wrong people for the next, what, 40 years. And then fate intervened. I went to a book launch at London's gay bookshop, Gay's the Word. Uh, of course, the shelves were lined with books, but my eye hit upon just one and that was the new biography of Salminio by Michael Greg Michaud. And I can distinctly remember, as I took it down, thinking he won't have mentioned the wrong people. I mean, this is even less than a footnote in film history. But I looked at the index and there was an entire section this thick, just on the wrong people. It was absolutely fascinating to read. This is where I learned everything about Sal's struggle to make the wrong people back in the early 70s. Nobody wanted to write the screenplay and he tried everybody. David Sherwin, Peter Schaefer, Edna O'Brien, Simon Raven, even Paul Dane who'd written a number of Planet of the Apes sequels. Uh, Paul wanted uh, £6,000 to write the screenplay and Sal said no because it was too much money. It doesn't sound a lot to Tay, but uh, I have done the calculations and in today's money it's something like £66,000 plus. So I think Paul Dane was just playing Sal along. He didn't want to write the script either. 
Sal wanted to meet every hot young actor of the day to play the lead. He liked the sound of John Mulder Brown and uh, Martin Potter, Leonard Whiting. Some of these people wouldn't even talk to him, let alone do an audition. And this is why it was absolutely impossible for Sal to make the film. As soon as I finished reading that biography, I got out my original paperback of The Wrong People. And probably, like Robin Maugham's famous uncle Somerset Maugham, I read it in one sitting. And when I closed it, I knew that I was going to make the film myself. But I'll tell you more about that in the next episode of this history, which will be right here next week. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching.